What's up guys, this is Marcus, uh, that I'll come back to you with another uh, video blog from the ELMC YouTube channel. <clears throat> Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Emmy nominations. I'm so excited! Yay! Emmy 2010 is here. Um, the biggest competitors in this year's second annual Primetime Emmy Awards is Glee, with 19 nominations. So congratulations to the people at Glee. Love the show. Awesome stuff. Good stuff. Betty White also is going to get um, a little some props too, because she was nominated for Outstanding Guest Actors in a Comedy Series. So I thought that was pretty cool for uh, SNL, which was awesome. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to just kind of go through the nominations and kind of give you what I feel would be the appropriate winner. <laughs> who knows if that's actually who's going to win? But uh, you know, might as well take a guess. Why not? Uh, for Best Series Drama, we have Breaking Bad, Dexter, Lost, Mad Men, The Good Wife. And True Blood. Oh man, this is quite a category. Um, I personally am going to go for The Good Wife. Why? Two words. Juliana Margulies. Okay? She's amazing. Ever since ER, I fell in love with Nurse Hathaway. She's been unbelievable this entire season in Good Wife. Uh, good writing, good actors. It's going to be great. Best series for comedy Nurse Jackie, Curb Your Enthusiasm, 30 Rock. Glee, The Office, and Modern Family. Now, I'm a fan of a lot of these shows, but as I mentioned earlier, Glee is the way that I want to go. So, there is my choice for that one. How's it going? Uh, next is the Best Actor uh, category, which uh, for drama. We have Breaking Bad, Brian Cranston, Michael C. Hall for Dexter, which I know some of you are going nuts over him right now, Hugh Laurie, again for House, uh, John Hamm for Mad Men, Matthew Fox for Lost, Kyle Chandler, Friday Night Lights. Okay, I'm going to bet on either Michael C. Hall for Dexter, because I know how much his fan base is just nuts, or Hugh Laurie to win again, because he's pretty awesome. So, who knows? That was a toss-up. Next, Best Actress in a Drama. Connie Britton, Friday Night Lights. Glenn Close from Damages. Riska Hargitay, Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Uh, Kyra Sedwig for The Closer, January Jones, Matt Ming, and Juliana Margulies, The Good Wife. As I mentioned earlier, it's all about Juliana this year. I'm going to go with Juliana Margulies. Although I do love Marishka Hargitay, especially, side note, um, The Love Guru, Marishka Hargitay. Awesome stuff. Anyway, moving on. Alright, uh, next we have Best Actor in a Comedy, Alec Baldwin, 30 Rock, Tony Shalhoub for Monk, again, Jim Parsons, The Big Bang Theory, Steve Carell, The Office, L Derry David, Curb Your Enthusiasm, or Matthew Morrison for Glee. Though I want Matthew Morrison to win for Glee, because we all love Mr. Shoe, uh, I am going to have to say Alec Baldwin or Steve Carell is going to take this one home this year. Best Actress in a Comedy, Tina Fey from 30 Rock, Leah Michelle from Glee, uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, The New Adventures of O. Christine, Amy Poehler, Parks and Recreation, Tony Collette, the United States of Terra, Edie Falco, Nurse Jackie. Wow, what a category. Um, I don't even know where to start with this one. Of course, I love Lee Michelle with Lee. Girl can sing her butt off, sing anything you throw at her. She's amazing. You can't overlook Tina Fey. You can't overlook Julia Louis Dreyfus, who has won for Seinfeld. And I don't even know if she won for this one yet, but she might have. Uh, Tony Collette, amazing in the United States of Terra. Um, she plays four, five different characters. She's pretty daggum good. So that one's also going to be a toss-up. Going for Leah Michelle, I'm going to say probably Tina Fey or Toni Collette. Toni Collette, that would be her second year in a row, by the way. Uh, next would be Best Supporting Actor for a Drama Series. Um, I'm not even going to go through all the categories for this one because I don't recognize any of those people. So good luck, all of you guys. Now moving on to Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. It's a great category as well. We have Rose Byrne from Damages, Christine Baranski, The Good Wife, R.G. Punjabi, The Good Wife, um, Elizabeth Moth, Mad Men, Christina Hendricks, Mad Men, Sharon Less, Burn Notice. Um, I believe Archie Punjabi plays Kalinda on The Good Wife, and um, I'm going to bet on one of those two women to win it because it's, it's all about that show this season. They're unbelievable. Um, again, we're going to move on to Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. Much more up my alley. Uh, Eric Stone Street, Modern Family. Neil Patrick Harris, NPH, How I Met Your Mother. 
uh, Chris Colfer with Glee, that's Kurt, uh, John Cryer, Two and a Half Men, Ty Burrell, Modern Family, Jesse Tyler, Ferguson, um, Modern Family. Uh, for that category, I really, 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 fingers crossed, hope NPH wins it because he's just unbelievable. He is a great personality. He's got a good head. He's charming. He's a great poster boy. Um, just love him, man. Okay, Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Jane Lynch, Glee, Sue Sylvester, all the way. She's so, she's unbelievable. I think every um, series, every episode gets better and better with her one-liners. She's just, she's amazing. Kristen Wiig, Saturday Night Live. Sophia uh, Vergara for Modern Family. Pardon me for, by the way, pardon me for ruining anyone's name. Don't let me butcher your name. Please, sorry about that. <laughs> Jane Krakowski, 30 Rock. Holland Taylor, Two and a Half Men. Dewey Bowen, um, Modern Family. For that one, again, I'm holding on to Jane Lynch. She deserves to win. She's freaking amazing. Okay, Outstanding Reality Program. Antiques Roadshow, Kathy Griffin, My Life on the D-List, Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution, Dirty Jobs, Mythbusters, Undercover Boss. Okay, this is just a secret obsession of mine, but Kathy Griffin is kind of like one of my favorite people in the entire world, and so I'm really, really pulling for her. I want her to win. I think she's hilarious. She's very talented, and if she wins, we're bound to have something pretty good to laugh at at the Except the speech. Um, outstanding reality competition program, The Amazing Race, so good. American Idol, another great show that has captivated the nation for years now. Dancing with the Stars, Project Runway, Top Chef. Um, I'm going to pull for The Amazing Race. The Amazing Race is a great show that inspires lots of people, traveling across the world, doing all kinds of things you've never done before, and I secretly want to be on that show as well. So. Um, applications for us in Amazing Race Partner will be opening soon. Keep that in mind. <laughs> um, another thing is um, outstanding host for the reality or reality competition program. This one's going to be a toss up. We have Tom uh, Bergeron, Dancing with the Stars, Phil Keegan, The Amazing Race, who wins them like nobody's business, <laughs> Heidi Klum, Project Runaway, I mean, The Body, which that's up for debate apparently, so don't quote me on that, but Heidi Klum. Man, I mean, she, she's amazing. She's been rocking Project Runway forever now. Jeff Probst, the unflappable Jeff Probst, he's an unbelievable reality show host. And Ryan Seacrest, he does his thing, the busiest man in Hollywood. He's all over the place. So, I mean, it's really a toss-up. All these guys are really deserving. All these guys are actually somewhat models for myself because I would like to actually be a reality or reality competition program host one of these days as well. So, um, I can vouch for the talent and the amazing skill that all those people hold. But I'm going to say it's probably going to be Phil Keegan with The Amazing Race, winning it again, if not him, my old man Jeff Probst. Anyway, those are just my takes on the Emmy nominations for 2010. Um, I'd love to hear any of your suggestions as far as who might win. Um, any Anyone you think I voted against or I voted for that you want to disagree with, feel free to offer your reasoning. Uh, let me know who your choices are. Who do you think should win the Emmys this year? Look forward to hearing from you soon. Be real, do you. This is Marcus signing off.